in the last lecture we tried to render a dynamic component programmatically but now when we try to test it we have this strange error and the error says no component factory found for confirm delete component did you add it to ng module dot entry components now if you are not getting this error that simply means that you are using angular 9 or higher version this is a tiny change which was made behind the scenes of angular which makes the implementation work out of the box but if you are getting this error that's because you are using angular 8 or lower version and in that case let me explain why you are getting this error and this is also the reason why i created this project using angular 8 version because i wanted to show you this error message and i wanted to explain what entry components are all right so the error message says no component factory found for confirm delete component but if you remember in the last lecture we created a component factory for this confirm delete component right so we have a component factory here then why angular did not find this component factory well in the same error message we also have this message did you add it to ng module dot entry components so if we can understand this error message it will be easier for us to fix this problem now in order to understand this what you need to understand is how angular works behind the scenes when it comes to creating angular components we already know that when we create a component directive pipes we need to add them in the declaration section of the app module so inside this declaration sections we add all our components directives pipes etc and here if you see we are already adding this confirm delete component to this declarations array of this app module the reason why we need to add all our components directives and pipes inside this declarations array is because we want to make our angular application aware of all these components directives pipes etc which we have created and planning to use and that's why angular is able to create and render a component when it finds it in one of the two places the first place is the view template of a component so if we are using a selector of a component somewhere in the view template for example if i go to user component.html here currently we are not using any selector of a component but earlier we were using the selector of this confirm delete component so when angular finds a selector of a component in a view template what it does is it checks if in the declaration sections of that app module if that component is registered or not if that component is registered then angular will create an instance of that component and it will render its view in the web page another place where the angular will look for a component is in your routes so for example here i am defining a route and in this routes we have a route for home and for users and if you notice inside these routes i am using home component and user component now i am not using the selector of this home component and user component anywhere in the view template if i go to app component.html there you will not see a selector of home component or user component instead you will see this router outlet directive so the route is the second place where the angular will look for a component if there we are using a component it will check if that component is declared inside the declarations array or not so for example when the user clicks root url slash home we want to render the view of home component so in that case it will check if this home component is registered in the declaration section of this app module or not and there this home component is registered so in that case angular will create an instance of this home component and it will render its view in the web page but here let me close this app module.ts file and let me also close this user component.html here we are trying to create a component dynamically by writing some code and we are trying to render it in the dom now we are not using this confirm delete component in any view template so we are not using the selector of this confirm delete component anywhere in the view template and we are also not using it in the routes right here we are creating our own component factory with the confirm delete component and in this case angular will not reach out to the declarations array to check if we have declared the confirm delete component there or not we know that in the declarations array we have declared the confirm delete component 
but angular is not going to look for this confirm delete component in the declarations array because it is not finding this confirm delete component either in view template or in the defined routes and because of that angular is not going to create and render this confirm delete component so here we need to tell angular that we want to create a confirm delete component and we want to render it at this place inside this div and to do that we need to make angular aware about this confirm delete component because as we learned angular will scan declarations array only when we try to use a component in a template or a route at that time only it will scan the declarations array and create the component for us when we are going to create a dynamic component like this by writing some code angular will not scan declarations array and hence it is not aware about that component so it cannot create and render it in the dom now in order to make angular scan the declarations array when we are creating dynamic component using component factory we need to use a special property in ng module directive called as entry components so if i go to app module there we have some properties like declarations imports providers and bootstrap in the same way we can also specify another property called entry components and it is also going to store an array we use this property to specify all those components which should be created and which we are not using in the view template by using its selector or which we have not specified in the routes keep in mind that we don't need this entry component property if we want to render a component which is used in a view or which is used in a route that's why we did not needed it earlier and another very important point which you need to remember is that depending on the angular version you are using you might not need it if your angular application uses angular 9 or higher versions in that case this property is not required to specify explicitly because in angular 9 or higher versions angular under the hood uses a different rendering engine and there it works differently so if you are using angular 9 or higher version you don't need to specify this property explicitly but even if you specify this it is not going to create any error okay it is still going to work but you don't need to specify it explicitly but in angular 8 and lower version you need to specify it explicitly if you are creating a dynamic component by writing some code so here to this entry component we need to specify the component name and the component name is confirm delete component so let's specify it here with this let's save the changes let's go to the web page and now when i click on the delete button now you will notice that that confirm delete component is being rendered dynamically now here we have this error this error is because here we also want to display the name of the user which we want to delete and for that we are trying to read the name property on the user object but currently we are not passing any user object to this component when we are creating it dynamically by writing some code here currently we are not passing this user object to this component right in that case this user object inside this confirm delete component here here this user to delete object it will be undefined on that we are trying to access the name property and that's why we have this error so it says cannot read property of undefined reading name so let's see in the next lecture how we can pass data to a dynamic component when we are creating it by writing some code and also how to emit data from the dynamic component when we are creating that dynamic component by writing some code.